What's up lords and ladies, welcome back to another video on this channel. So in today's video, I decided to go over my bearded dragon breeding plans. Now, I don't really have big plans on breeding a huge amount of bearded dragons, but I do want to produce some quality bearded dragons. And honestly, I really want to learn um, a different type of thing about bearded dragons. And I feel like um, I've kept bearded dragons for so long, for almost my whole entire life and I still haven't yet learned the full hands-on experience about breeding bearded dragons. But with that being said, I am gonna go over the things that I've learned so far, and hopefully you guys learn a couple of things and could apply it to your bearded dragon or reptile care. So with that being said, let's go. Okay, I don't know why I said let's go because uh, we're not going anywhere and we're just staying in my room. But basically, oh my goodness, man, this is the weirdest intro I think I've done. But actually, no. What am I talking about? I literally made a song about notifications. Hit, hit, hit all night. Hit, 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 hit. That was the weirdest video. <laughs> So something I've been keeping a secret for the longest time is that my girl Penelope has given birth. Hello, you Mama. Just don't hey, know Mama. How beautiful <laughs> you are. And baby, that's you my favorite your egg? part. Look at that egg. You Good job, Mama. Good job. So Give me five. Come on, we gotta take you a bath. We'll get you some hornworms. Nobody gonna break your heart. Did a good job. Come on. Right, what are you doing? Me, I got you She's covered. Really I'm gonna be your lover. All right, so my girl Penelope has just laid some eggs. As you can see, there's one right here that has just kind of rolled off to the side. I had this lay box in there because I knew that she was going to lay anytime soon, but I didn't know it was going to happen right now. Um, I'm kind of in the mix of cleaning, but I'm so excited to be showing you guys. Oh my goodness, look at this. I don't even know how many she laid, but she laid a ton. Holy snap. All right, we're gonna take them out one by one. We got one. Okay. We got two. All right, gently. Holy, God, there's a one, three, four, five, six. Come on. Seven. We have seven so far. Come on. Seven. Eight. Holy snap. This one has a lot of veins. Okay, that one seems like it's going to be a good one. We got eight. Nine. Nine. Ten. We got eleven. Holy snap. This is going to continue. 11 what did she get she gave birth to this no way what the <laughs> okay so far we have 11 little ones come on there has to oh there's a whole bunch right here 11 12 13 14 15 16 16 eggs I counted so far. Oh, is there one more? Oh my god. 17 eggs. Holy snap. Look at those veins. Wow, I don't even know what is what, but I'm candling right now all of the eggs before putting them in the incubator. I want to put um, where I see the most veins facing upwards, and I'm going to mark it just to make sure that they're not rotating. Look at that. All right, so as you can see, the eggs are inside of the incubator. You can see they're like right there. So I'm pretty excited once again to be breeding my bearded dragons. Oh yeah. 
Okay, so I'm really excited about these eggs. You see, I've been waiting on this project for almost about two and a half years. You see, I needed to raise Penelope from a little tiny baby, get her to be mature, then put the male together, and now these guys are in the incubator right now. So the pairing that I got with these guys is I got my Zero Bearded Dragon and I paired her up to Penelope. Now she is a hypo Het Zero Het Wiblets Bearded Dragon. So I should be getting some Zero Bearded Dragons and that's gonna be super excited to see some of them hatch out inside of my incubator. So I'm crossing my fingers that she actually proves out to be what um, I bought her for. But even if she doesn't, I'm gonna be making some beautiful Het Zero Bearded Dragons that I do plan on selling some and also keeping some for myself as well. Okay, but what I really wanted to show you guys is the incubator that I built. So I did make a video on how I built this incubator. It's basically a bar or mini fridge that I gutted out and I put some heat and I also put a thermostat that's connected to it so I could check the temperatures to always be at an accurate um, basically temperature for the bearded dragons but these guys are doing so well right now they're actually inside of here so what I'm gonna do right now is actually take them out and we could check how beautiful these guys are so let's Can we go just talk? Can't we just talk? talk about where we're going before we get lost let me out first can't get what we want without knowing i've never felt like this before i apologize if i'm moving too far can we just talk can we just talk figure okay so right now i have my baby bearded dragons right here um, it's nice and warm out, so I'm not so worried that they're gonna drop temperatures But I really quickly wanted to show you guys how cool this is right here So if you really put a light you could see The veins right on each individually Look at this Holy snap and if you do stare a little bit longer You do see some movement so like you can see the little tiny baby bearded dragon even sometimes look at that Holy snap, what was that? Was that the tail? Holy snap, that is so cool. Look at that. Oh my god. Oh, I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. But you can see the little tiny movements in each and one of them. So these guys have been inside of the incubator for about a month. Now, I'm watching the development of them. And look, I'm not sure if that's the... Oh my god. Oh my god, that moved. I'm not sure if that's like the head or what that could be. Oh my god, it's moving! Holy snap! Okay, this is just crazy. So to see like each individual egg have its own life, like its own vein, and it's already been a month, it is an extremely, extremely good sign. So I'm really happy on how these guys are turning out. Um, it is just the coolest thing to basically be experiencing. And this is the main reason why I wanted to breed is because I really wanted to see the growth and really wanted to learn more about reptiles. And this is just so cool. Oh my God. So I am gonna put these eggs back inside of the incubator so um, you know they can continue to grow. But I quickly wanted to show you guys how cool this is because this has been something I've been keeping a secret for almost a month because I really, really wanted to make sure that these guys were gonna make it this time and I have a hard or a really strong feeling that these are gonna make it. So I'm super, super happy on how these guys are turning out and oh my God, does it feel good to like tell you guys what I'm up to. Oh my God, look at how beautiful this is. Now, when bearded dragons go through their pregnancy they are developing eggs that require a lot of calcium inside of their belly so something that you really really need to um, take into account is the amount of calcium that you'll be giving your female bearded dragons or just bearded dragons in general because the last thing you want is them to develop some bone disease or any type of disease based off you not giving them the proper nutrition now something that I picked up 
online is this multivitamin um, in a liquid form that uh, I started giving my bearded dragons who are developing eggs or just someone that needs a little bit of boost of vitamins. Um, I picked this up and I would give them depending on how basically they are. So if I feel that they're a little bit underweight or they need a little bit more boost or they're not eating enough veggies or not eating in general, I would give them this, um, you know, through a syringe right inside of their mouth. And I do have to give my girl Penelope basically this multivitamin because I do give her, um, you know, occasionally, especially now that she's been, you know, um, producing eggs I give it to her at least once or even three times per week so I'm gonna give her some right now to kind of show you how I do it so let's go and girl come on <laughs> she's like what are you doing to me <laughs> okay come on all right that might be a little bit too much <laughs> what are you looking at me oh my goodness she's already trying to eat it yeah she likes it Hey, are you really that hungry? <laughs> All right, hey, hey, stop. <laughs> stop it, calm down. I'm gonna give it to you, but I can't give it to you like that. Oh my goodness, maybe I should have gave it to her on her food. She really likes this. Holy snap. <laughs> so I just wanna clarify that this right here is not um, medicine or anything. It's just a multivitamin that you give them depending on their size. So if you read it, right, and this is why probably Penelope likes it so much because it's berry flavor. But if you read it, the full strength is about um, 0 0.02 cc's per 100 gram of body weight. So um, if your bearded dragon weighs about, let's say, um, 300 grams then you want to give her three doses of amount right so Penelope is about that so I gave her 2.5 or yeah 2.5 cc's of basically this I'm gonna try to give her this uh, but she is honestly like <laughs> already trying to eat it which is kind of funny because she usually hated this okay come on Oh my god, Penelope. So you could give it to them on their veggies or on their crickets as well. So uh, eh. I just like doing it like this because it's a little bit more easier and I could control it more. So look at that. She's already opened her mouth. Come on, Penelope. Come on, girl. Open. Open. Yes, we got it. <laughs> you like it? Yummy. And look at this belly. She's already gaining weight. So I would do this to, oh, to all of my bearded dragons that need that extra little bit of boost, especially, you know, the females that might be producing eggs. I would go around, give them a little bit extra vitamins. Of course, I always uh, calculate the type of uh, veggies that I give them. So I know the vitamins and the amount that I do as well. So I wouldn't be adding this on top of what I already give them. Uh, in this case, since they're producing eggs and you know this one just gave birth to some I do like giving them a little bit of an extra boost as well so I'll leave the link in the description down below if you guys are interested in purchasing some um, liquid multivitamin for your bearded dragon in the description down below there's a really good site that you can pick up a lot of different stuff like bee pollen and just create things for your bearded dragons and just make them really really healthy with that being said i do have to give bb a little bit of basically some vitamins as well i always give her you know her veggies and i always give her um vitamins on her crickets but in this case because she also gave birth not too long ago she lost a lot of weight so i've been giving her little tiny small amounts of extra vitamins uh in case like you know she might be missing some and she's been gaining weight like look at this chin holy stuff and she's in shed too so she's been gaining weight and i love it <laughs> yes yes oh oh, you, oh jesus 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 christ <laughs> Come on, you, you've done this like so many times. Why are you acting like, why are you acting like I've never done this before? Come on. You're not, you're not moving anywhere. Come here, open, 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 open. There you go, there you go. Yeah, me. <laughs> yeah, me. Hey, she doesn't love me. She's like, I don't love you no more. You, you've done things to me. 
<laughs> Look at her. She's completely ignoring me. <laughs> so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Um, head over to my Instagram if you guys want to see more about my reptiles and more about the different things that I'm doing with my life. <laughs> so be sure to subscribe if you haven't. Hit that notification button, baby. And also leave a comment down below letting me know how or what you are up to. So hopefully you guys have an amazing day and an amazing life. So keep the blood pumping. Ow, I just hit my face. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace. You gotta hit that notification. Hit that notification. Hit that notification button, baby. You gotta hit that notification. Hit that notification. Hit that notification button, baby. You gotta hit.